Hello and welcome to this video on setting up Cargo for Unreal Engine 5.3, Cargo version 1.1.5. Let's get started. I'm going to be downloading an asset from one of my newest favorite packs, Iron Force. Did I say Iron Force? I meant Iron Forge. And in particular, I have a couple downloaded already, this construction site. And I have downloaded a 1K PNG. We have several options with texture size and type, JPEGs and PNGs from 1K, 2K and 4K. Target software, I have Unreal Engine 5.3. That's already been set up before I started this video. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna pretend that I don't have this. So I'm gonna hit add new software, select your software. I'm gonna select Unreal Engine, select the version on 5.3. Now I'm gonna hit install. We're installing the plugin. Now we have to test, it's gonna say click connect on the cargo plugin within your 3D software. Need help? That's why I'm here. It is important. You will be prompted to close any copies of Unreal Engine if you are running them before you can complete this step. I've already done that. Now I'm gonna be opening up a project to connect to. I'm in a 5.3 project and I'm gonna first go up to settings plugins, type in cargo. This is just to show you and confirm you have the plugin installed and the plugin is indeed enabled for your project. Close the plugin window. This is new. This is a new button and that's cargo by Kipash. I'm gonna select this dropdown and click connect to cargo. Now the icon is colored. It's activated. We've connected. Tabbing back into the cargo application, I'm now going to hit next. Software setup complete. Close. Great. We have established the link from cargo to our project. I'm now going to import the construction site. Once you select the import button, you will see that it grays out for a moment and then it comes back in. I'm going to minimize Cargo app, back inside of the Unreal Engine project, you can see that it is importing the mesh and then it will begin to import the materials as well as assign those materials to the mesh. Be aware that this may take some time depending on the scale and size of the mesh. And I don't mean scale as in the physical size, I mean scale as if your mesh requires many, many materials, then you're going to need to download and assign and compile many textures to those materials. So it may take a moment. It looks like nothing has happened. However, everything has happened that I needed to happen. It may appear that your Unreal Engine has froze. It has not. Give it a moment. There you go. That was easy very easy to get assets, any assets from Cargo inside of your Unreal Engine project. If you're coming from 5.2 or lower, you would know that the inside window and below here was how we enabled Cargo. Just to remind you, it is now moved right here beside our sequence button. If you have any questions on how to get Cargo set up on Unreal Engine 5.3 or beyond, please leave me a comment and I will do my best to get that to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Bye now.